Did the floor only go with feather seat um, on it? First thing we need to do, switch on the handset. So that this has an electric rise and fall. Um, so if we press the seat, then it goes up and down on here. So what we do is we just take it in over to the car. I bring it in. First thing I need to do is I need to turn the turnout on the car out. So I can bring that out and then make sure it clicks and locks off. As you can see here, we have the two um, like ball, ball ends that, that lock in and they lock in on here, in this part here. Nice and simple, there's two handles on, on the sides which open the flaps for where, where it to go into. To, to drive in you don't need to do it, but to, to come back out we need to press that. Well, so the first thing I'm going to do is just back it up to the car, just roughly, so that I can see the height that I need to get my chair up to. Let me bring it up. and then put it back into drive so we can then back up to the car that one's clicked in and then that one's clicked in switch it off just so you don't knock it as you're going through press this lever down and then the chair just slides back and you switch it back on at this point we need to to disengage it so here with the flaps so you should be able to just put it in the free wheel mode. So here. And then that just connects it. Now we're in there. We can then come out. Just bring that out of the way. Then obviously in this position we need to turn the, the, the seat back in. There's a handle on the right hand side here. Pick that up and then we can just turn in. Obviously when someone's in the seat you may find that you don't want to lock it off completely. So at this point we can drive it back so that we allow the room for the legs and then obviously we can then keep turning as we're coming in that that way allowing the maximum amount of room for the leg make sure it's locked in as you can hear it has a nice solid click in that position there as simple as that and then if i'll show you on here so as you can now see, you've got lots of different functions. You've got the horn, you've got hazards, if you have the lights, which is a, an extra. Again, front lights, and then you get left and right indicators. This then changes the functions, so you can go up the speed and down the speed. So, and it's as simple as that. This has a rise and fall as well, so in a seating position you can lower that down. This then folds out the way, so there's a, a specific lifted bracket. Uh, you've also got the tie down hooks, so if you're traveling in a, in a taxi or anything like that, you can then just tie the wheelchair down. Okay.